Welcome to the Science Kid. I am your host, Quinn Friedman. And today, we're gonna be talking about space. <laughs> now, we've already talked about our solar system specifically, and we've also talked about the asteroid belt. Click the links in the description to go to both of those videos. Today, we're gonna be talking about the biggest planet in our solar system. That's right, we're gonna be talking about Jupiter. No, not that Jupiter, the planet. That's better. <laughs> to start off, Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun at about 502 million miles away. It is classified as a gas giant because it is mostly made of helium and hydrogen, just like the sun. People can't go to Jupiter because there's nowhere to walk or even land a spaceship on. Also, if any material came into Jupiter's atmosphere, the gravitational poles and temperature will crush and vaporize it. Ah! Yeah, we're not going to Jupiter anytime soon. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system and the second largest thing in our solar system after our sun with a radius at about 44,000 miles and has the same mass of about 300 Earths. It has at least 67 known moons, most likely more, such as Europa, Callisto, and Ganymede. Jupiter's day lasts only 10 hours. However, its year is about 12 Earth years. Jupiter's clouds have an average temperature at about negative 145 degrees Celsius, or about negative 229 degrees Fahrenheit. Jupiter's core can rise up to 24,000 degrees Celsius, or about 43,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Whew, it is really hot here. Like Saturn, Jupiter also has rings that are not visible to the human eye from our planet. Lastly, Jupiter is the stormiest planet in our solar system. It has a permanent storm known as the giant red spot that has been turning since we first observed it over 350 years ago. This storm is so big that it is bigger than our home planet Earth. Jupiter is an amazing planet. I hope you enjoyed learning about the largest planet in our solar system. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, science can always be fun.